guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to my personal review of Oxygen Builder version 2.1. If you don't know anything about this visual builder, let me tell you that I personally consider Oxygen Builder one of the best visual builder available for WordPress right now. I know that's a bold statement, especially because there are a lot of competitors and alternatives to Oxygen Builder, but if you want to know a little bit more about it, if you want to know why I consider it one of the best, you should definitely check my previous review that I did when version 2.0 was just released. Version 2.1 has been recently released and it feels kind of like a major upgrade for all the features and improvements that comes with but instead it's treated like a minor update in fact you can actually upgrade your system your builder if you already own a license for version 2 you don't have to pay an extra license or buy it again the upgrade to version 2.1 comes automatically which is pretty incredible. Full disclaimer, this is a sponsored review because you know I like money, but of course I'm always gonna be uh, real, I'm not gonna be biased, I'm not gonna tell you that something is great if it's not, so if I have some criticism I'm always gonna say the truth in my reviews, but let's continue. I never actually consider theme builders, visual builders, or page builders for WordPress, a viable solution for developers because there are a lot of limitations, there are a lot of aspects that you don't have the full flexibility like you have when you build a theme from scratch or you actually code your own site, your own WordPress theme if you rely just on a page builder. But that's kind of changing and Oxygen Builder is going towards the right direction, I think. Version 2.1, as I said, comes with a lot of new features and I feel like the majority of these new features are targeted towards developers. Of course, if you want to know the full list of features and implementations, you can go check the landing page for Oxygen Builder version 2.1. You can find the link in the description below the video. But these are my favorite features from this new version. These are my highlights of why I consider this visual builder kind of like the best companion for WordPress developers. The first thing that I noticed was kind of like an initial glimpse of a unified design system. And this is one of the weakest points to any visual builder available for WordPress. The fact that it doesn't matter how many templates, parts, or uh, partials you create in a builder, you will always have that kind of like hard time keeping visual consistency in terms of colors, in terms of styles, in terms of layout. But now with version 2.1 of Oxygen Builder comes a unified global color color setting. So you can have your global colors for links or backgrounds or specific type of styles and adding to the fact that Oxygen Builder comes already with like a global header and footer type of settings and you can use partial so you can have parent child templates to inherit the previous style. It feels more like a unified design system, something that you can control and something that even if you give your product, your final theme built with Oxygen Builder to a client, it won't have so many opportunities to screw it up or completely destroy your layout because you can control, you can start controlling some specific aspect globally with global settings. Another amazing implementation, and this is super small but it's super useful, is the ability to generate through the visual builder gradient backgrounds. This is a huge helper because building gradient backgrounds in CSS is kind of a pain. The code is kind of like convoluted, I never remember the syntax and I always relied on a, on a external website to actually speed out the code, the CSS code that I have to build. Now Oxygen Builder comes with a built-in gradient background generator, which is tremendous. Like, there's nothing else to say. It's just straightforward, easy to use. You can generate your background and apply it to any elements and any section of your builder. It's, it's pretty great. Onto the juicy developers related part, we have finally a built-in native integration for Advanced Custom Fields Pro and Toolset. So if you know a little bit about these two plugins, basically are developer-oriented plugins, something that allows you through a really simple UI interface to generate custom fields, custom sections, to generate pretty much anything custom in your backend. It has always been a pain kind of using these visual builders and trying to pull the data that you customly created with Advanced Custom Field Pro or Toolset. But now with Oxygen Builder version 2.1, it's built in. You don't have to do any like code trick or anything crazy to pull the data. 
everything is built inside the Visual Builder. So whenever you're coding a page or coding a template, you just have to open the format data, the insert data option, and you already have the full list of all your custom fields that you generated or all the tool set sections that you created. This is a huge help and a huge boost for any developers. And personally, I pretty much use Advanced Custom Field Pro in every project, in every WordPress site. There's nothing I cannot do with Advanced Custom Field Pro. And knowing that I can directly pull the data and print the data inside a custom template built in Oxygen Builder is just, it's gonna speed up my development process by 10 times. And it's gonna be so easy to build pages with real data. One of the many reasons why I consider Oxygen Builder ahead of the competition is for the way it spits out HTML, for the way it actually generates the pages after you finished building your template. Uh, if you notice like the source code of all the other builders, there is just like a convoluted mess of divs, like 20 indented divs, one inside another. There's no like real clarity with all these like made up classes name. It's just a mess. And as soon as you stop using the builder, you're gonna have like a generated template, a generated HTML that is totally not usable. Oxygen Builder already does a great job in keeping your actual source code clean and easy to read, even if you don't use the template builder anymore. But now it goes an extra step. Now it's giving you the ability to use semantic HTML. Already version two was coming with the section HTML markup to wrap a big portion of section. But now whenever you create a new section, a new paragraph, or you use a new component, you have the ability to select from a drop down which wrapper, which HTML wrapper you wanna use. And you have a full list of all the semantic wrapper from HTML5. This is great because not only is gonna help you keep the HTML structure super clean when you read your source code, but also it will help you improve your SEO ranking and search engines will be able to actually use HTML5 and read it from your page without trying to pull your data off of 20 indented diffs, which is kind of like a crazy thing to generate. As I said at the beginning of the video, you can find the full list of new implementation features, bug fixes and improvements at the link below in the description that will redirect you to the landing page of Oxygen Builder version 2.1. You can also join their Facebook group, which is really active. They have a lot of users and the developers of Oxygen Builder are actually there to answer all your questions. So if you have any issue, technical problems, or you're still not sure why you should actually use Oxygen Builder, just join the Facebook group and ask all your questions. You also have 60 days money back guarantee from Oxygen Builder. So if you buy it, if you buy a license like a personal license that it's around a hundred dollars and you're not sure you're gonna use it you have two full months of testing and time to consider if you actually want to buy it before asking for a refund so that's that's kind of pretty great you should go there and try it out it's it's really fantastic it's really interesting seeing oxygen builder going ahead and kind of like working along other popular plugins developer oriented plugins to improve the usability from a developer point of view. It's really it's really intriguing and I'm curious to see where it's going next. If it's gonna keep focusing on developers oriented features, it's gonna start improving the sort of like built-in design system to help you keep consistency among all your templates and what new functionalities will be released in the next version. And what do you think? Do you think Oxygen Builder is missing some vital feature for you to actually use it in your next project? As usual, let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer anyone. And thank you guys for watching and I talk to you in the next one.